the Hajatha, Hedetha, good day to you. Uh, I thought I'd do another video in Cornish, about Cornish. Um, this time I'm touching on some historical literature. Um, there's a series of plays from the Middle Ages that I'll talk more about in a second. And I'm going to read you the first three stanzas of one of them that's called The Passion of Our Lord, or Passion Agan Aluth, as you can see in the title there. Um, these three plays compose a body of, well, it's poetry, but it's a series of plays known as the Ordinalia. So they're, they're medieval mystery plays, if you're familiar with the form. They were performed publicly in the Plain and Guari, the playing place. These were normally um, theatrical, uh, with the pits, you could call them, uh, steeped pits where people would watch the plays and in the middle someone would perform them. Uh, they narrate the, the life from crucifixion of Jesus, and there's three of them. Uh, from the late 14th century, written in Middle Cornish, um, they have stage directions in Latin. One of the original pieces of text you can see there, I've written, I've uh, given on the an, Im an image of. So there's three of them uh, that make up the uh, Ordinalia. The first one is called Religio Mundi, the origin of the world, also known as, known as in Latin as Ordinalia de Religiane Mundi, if I'm right. Uh, then you have Passio Christi, which is also what I'm going to talk about today. You can see there the full title of this being called Passio Domino Nostra Jesu Christi. And the third one is called Resurrectio Domini, uh, the resurrection of our Lord, uh, known more formally as Ordinale Resurrectione Domini. I can just about say the Latin. Okay, so that's the kind of cycle. The one I'm interested in is called Passion Agano Luth, the Passion of Our Lord. Uh, these poems are anonymous, um, but they've got this interesting uh, feature that they've been translated by various important people out the, throughout the history of Cornish language uh, revival. So I'm going to read you the text that was found in the 1993 edition of uh, Passion Agano Luth, that was edited by, if I can remember rightly, it was edited by... Ray Edwards in April 1993, published by Kesra and Tavis Knook, I believe. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what the source is from it. I'm going to do you read the first three stanzas through so you can get a feel for what it feels like, really. Um, this These texts have been translated and analysed since 1826. Um, so there's been a lot of scholarship that's gone into them and makes them really interesting. Uh, they are in their own meter, like I said, they're in, they are poetic. Um, so it will rhyme in Cornish. Uh, put the English on the well, uh, on the right hand side, your left, my right, and um, vice versa in the Cornish text on the other side. Uh, try and give a nice little setting and go through them and uh, see how it works. Tez hamab ha spirisans, huye bis salun golon. Re rontio fuk kras ha wans, they was lois se basion. Ha thimo kras ha skians, they farivas pa lavaro. Me fo the fu the iwothians, ha sel weans than an evo. Sul vino bo selwis, kus lois o lavaro. A Jesu del Ru Helchis, Urambis Avul Caro. Ragon Menuch Rebecus, a disprecious in Haro. In Glos Grand Clantro Festis, Penis Bis Pan Vu Maro. Du Sir de Virtuantes, Fini a Thic Tayas Quares. An Mab de Reis Gians Bras, Pan Gemma Kika Verkes. And spill sans un raz, j fader me fu gris, gofaf, penis pan venas, neb na illigil pechas. So that's the first three stanzas of the Passion of Our Lord, Passion Agonaluth, uh, in Cornish, uh, rendered in Knut Kamen, from Ray Edwards' uh, 1993 edition. Thanks very much for your time, and uh, I hope you found that interesting. Again, all faults, faults are my own, textually and, <laughs> and verbally. So, that's it.
I hope you have a lovely day.